aquamarine. It is a gemstone that has entranced mankind for centuries. From its beguiling blue tones to its legendary lore, its story is one that is rich in history and myth. Today, we take a deep dive into the mesmerizing world of aquamarine, the water gem. Aquamarine is a blue-green variety of the mineral beryl. Beryl has the chemical formula B3 aluminium silicide 6018, and comes in different varieties such as emerald, morganite, and heliodor. The word, aquamarine, comes from the Latin word, aqua marina, which means, water of the sea. It was first recorded as a gemstone in ancient Greece between 480 and 300 BCE. The ancient Greeks called it, smargdos, which means, precious green stone. Later on, the stone was referred to as, berillos. The Romans adapted the word to, berillus, which eventually evolved into the modern word, beryl. The ancient Egyptians, Sumerians, and Hebrews valued aquamarine as a prized gemstone, and they believed it had healing powers that could cure several illnesses. Many ancient cultures believed that aquamarine gemstones were sacred and possessed spiritual power. Today, aquamarine is the birthstone for March and is a popular gemstone used in jewelry. Aquamarine has been a symbol of youth, hope, health and fidelity since ancient times. In Greek mythology, it was believed that aquamarine was the treasure of the mermaids and that it had the power to protect sailors at sea. In ancient Rome, soldiers wore aquamarine amulets to bring good luck in battle and provide protection. According to medieval legend, wearing aquamarine would protect the wearer against poison and would help preserve the purity of the mind and soul. In addition, it was believed that aquamarine had the power to cure eye disease and disorders. In Hindu mythology, aquamarine was believed to be the treasure of the god of the sea, Lord Varuna. Aquamarine was also considered to be a powerful talisman by shamans, healers, and medicine men. Many cultures believe that aquamarine can calm the mind, soothe the heart, and bring clarity to the wearer. Today, aquamarine is a popular and affordable gemstone used in jewelry. It is often found in rings, necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. Aquamarine is durable and can be easily found in large sizes, making it suitable for statement pieces. Aquamarine is found in many parts of the world, including Brazil, Madagascar, Nigeria, Pakistan, and the United States. The largest aquamarine ever discovered was found in Brazil and weighed over 100 pounds. Besides jewelry, aquamarine is also used in spiritual healing practices as a calming and soothing stone. It is believed to have a positive impact on the mind and body, helping to reduce anxiety and stress, and promote overall well-being. Some alternative healthcare practitioners also believe that aquamarine can help with skin conditions, allergies and throat infections. The word, aquamarine, is derived from two Latin words, aqua, which means, water, and, marina, which means, of the sea. It was named so for its beautiful blue-green color, resembling that of the ocean. The first recorded use of the name aquamarine was in the late 14th century. It is a member of the beryl family which also includes emerald and morganite. The color of aquamarine ranges from a pale blue to a deep blue-green and is due to the presence of iron in its crystal structure. The name aquamarine has many meanings and symbolisms throughout various cultures. In ancient times, the gem was believed to cure illnesses related to the throat, liver, and stomach. It was also believed to ward off bad luck and protect sailors from the perils of the sea. Aquamarine was also thought to bring happiness, wealth, and harmony to relationships. Aquamarine has had a significant place in history, with many cultures and civilizations holding it in high regard. Ancient Greeks believed that aquamarine was a symbol of love and made amulets out of the gem. In the Middle Ages, it was thought to be a powerful antidote to poison, and it was also a popular stone for jewelry during the Renaissance period. During World War II, the U.S. Army officially recognized aquamarine as a precious gemstone, and it was widely used in military rings and other insignias. Today, aquamarine continues to be a popular gemstone, with its beauty and symbolisms cherished by people all over the world. Aquamarine has a long and rich history steeped in folklore and mythology. 
The gemstone was believed to have originated in the treasure chest of mermaids and was often used as a talisman for sailors at sea. Ancient Greeks and Romans believed that aquamarine was associated with Neptune, the god of the sea, and that it held the power to calm the waves and keep sailors safe. It was also thought to enhance the happiness of marriages. In medieval times, aquamarine was believed to have the power to cure ailments related to the throat and mouth. It was also believed to have the ability to preserve or restore the health of the eyes. The gemstone was often used in amulets and talismans to ward off evil spirits and protect against harm. Indeed, across cultures, aquamarine was seen as a symbol of hope, protection and good luck. Aquamarine's beauty and rarity have made it a popular choice for religious and ceremonial purposes across cultures. In ancient Egypt, it was used as an offering to the gods and was often placed with mummies as a symbol of power and wealth. Christians believe that the gemstone represented the purity of Christ and medieval European kings often wore ornately decorated robes with aquamarine as a symbol of power and prestige. In Hinduism, aquamarine was associated with the throat chakra and was believed to have healing powers when placed on the throat. In modern times, aquamarine is still used in various religious and spiritual practices, and is often set in jewelry worn during special occasions, such as weddings and baptisms. Aquamarine has been a popular gemstone in modern culture and fashion due to its distinctive color and association with the tranquility of the sea. Its popularity rose in the early 20th century when jewelry designers such as Coco Chanel and Louis Comfort Tiffany began incorporating aquamarines into their pieces. Its popularity continued to grow during the Art Deco movement, where it was often paired with diamonds and other precious stones in elaborate and ornate designs. Today, Aquamarine remains a favorite gemstone among designers and is often used in engagement and cocktail rings, necklaces, and earrings. The gemstone's soothing blue color has made it a popular choice for a variety of modern clothing, accessories and home decor. Aquamarine's beautiful blue hue has made it a popular choice in jewelry making for centuries. Its clarity and transparency make it a great gemstone for cutting into various shapes and forms. Aquamarine can be faceted in many different ways to bring out its beauty and luster which makes it perfect for earrings, necklaces, rings, and bracelets. It can be set in many types of metal and combined with other gemstones to make unique and stunning jewelry pieces. Today, aquamarine jewelry is worn by people worldwide from fashion icons to those who simply love its calming color and natural beauty. Aquamarine's durability and resistance to wear and tear have made it a popular choice in industrial applications. It is used in the manufacturing of various electrical components including oscillators, transducers, and sensors. Aquamarine's toughness and resistance to heat and chemical agents make it an ideal material for thermocouples, devices that measure temperature in extremely high temperature settings. Aquamarine is also used in high-pressure measuring devices and gauges for industrial applications because of its resistance to pressure and wear. With its exceptional properties, aquamarine has proven to be a valuable asset in many areas of the engineering and manufacturing world. Aquamarine is believed to have healing properties and has been used in alternative healing therapies for centuries. It is said to soothe and calm the nervous system, reducing stress and anxiety. Aquamarine is thought to promote peaceful communication and enhance feelings of love, compassion, and harmony. It has also been used to soothe sore throats and alleviate respiratory issues. Some practitioners believe that aquamarine can assist with hormonal balance and aid in digestion. It is also thought to have a positive effect on the immune system, promoting overall physical well-being. The ancient Greeks and Romans believed that aquamarine was the treasure of the mermaids, and was therefore regarded as the perfect sailor's gem for their protection. Ancient myths suggest that aquamarine was the prized possession of Neptune, the god of water and the sea, and that it originated from his palace itself. It was also believed that aquamarine, if worn during sea travel, would protect sailors from becoming sick or being lost at sea. In the Middle Ages, aquamarine was also believed to have numerous biological healing properties. Many alchemists believed that this crystal would heal various diseases related to the heart, liver, and stomach. The energy of the aquamarine crystal is calming, soothing, and cleansing, 
making it an excellent crystal to promote relaxation and to aid with anxiety and stress relief. It is also said to help with the healing of numerous physical ailments and emotional issues. This crystal is known to enhance communication and self-expression and provides a sense of fluidity and openness, especially when it comes to expressing one's emotions. By holding an aquamarine crystal during meditation, one can deepen their spiritual awareness and gain insight and clarity into their inner self. For this reason, it is considered as the perfect crystal for those who want to improve their mental strength and emotional wellness. Aquamarine has been a gemstone that has fascinated many for centuries. It not only has some incredible myths and legends, but it has also been featured in some of the most significant jewelry pieces the world has ever seen. One of the most famous aquamarine jewelry pieces was the engagement ring given by Emperor Dom Pedro of Brazil to his wife, Empress Teresa Cristina, in the 19th century. The ring featured an emerald-cut aquamarine center stone with two smaller diamond stones as its side stones. It has been said that the Empress was enchanted by the aquamarine and wore it around her neck every day after the Emperor had passed away. Another iconic aquamarine piece is the Dom Pedro Aquamarine the largest cut gem aquamarine in the world at 10,363 carats. It is 14 inches tall and has flawless step-cut naturally blue-violet edges, just like the waves of the ocean. This extraordinary piece is displayed at the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. And there you have it, the fascinating history of aquamarine, the water gem. From its origin to the modern-day uses, aquamarine has captivated people all around the world for centuries. It's amazing to think about how much value and significance a single gemstone can hold, both in terms of its beauty and its cultural significance. If you ever get a chance to see an aquamarine up close, take some time to appreciate its intricate details and the story behind it. It truly is a gemstone that lives up to its name, the water of the sea.